everybody. It's Brooke with Refabbed, and we have a snow day today. So, no makeup, paint clothes. That's what we've been doing all day is painting. And let me show you this one thing I painted earlier. And I'm going to take some inspiration from this design, if I can get it. Oh, I think this turned out so cute. Look! So I'm going to take a little bit of inspiration from that because it just makes me think of the beach and warmer places, okay? And it is not your traditional <laughs> um, pineapple. It's got pinks and greens and almost a little bit of a Lily Pulitzer vibe to it, I guess you could say. And so I might, I think maybe we'll just do that today. I think that'll be fun. Um, I've taken off all my rings, have no makeup, and I'm just feeling artistic. I've been painting for a few hours and I'm like, you know what? Numerous people have messaged me and asked me to paint something live because I've been showing paintings, but I haven't been painting them live. And so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna do it today and we will just go with it. So that's what I'm doing. And starting out, I have a 12 by 12, um, because this is all I had. This is why I'm doing it. Just got a text that school's closed tomorrow. Woo! School's closed tomorrow. So anyway, um, got a 12 by 12 flat canvas. The only reason I picked this is because that's what I have here. I'm out of a lot of stuff and I need to get some more canvases. So we're gonna do this on a 12 by 12. Um, we have not escaped anything right now. We've got like sleet, ice. I'm gonna use mostly my thick body acrylics. I've showed y'all these. I painted with them not that long ago. They're just thick body acrylics. You can find them on Amazon. Um, I would love if we can go ahead and post the link to Amazon. Um, that way if somebody just is not gonna be going to Hobby Lobby where I got mine, then you can just go to Amazon and buy some if you want to. Or you can add gel medium to any paint, okay? So I'm also gonna be using some regular paint like Key West, Limeade, ones like that. And what I'm gonna do is mix it with my white thick bodied acrylic because I want it to be more of a pastel, pastel, pastel. <laughs> but um, if I didn't have the thick body acrylic, I could totally just do some gel medium too. Now I wanna tell y'all this first and foremost before we get started. I am not a professional painter. I don't sell my artwork. Um, I'm not saying I won't ever sell it if people want to. I have sold one print before I got it printed. A lot of times what I normally do is just sit down and start painting, okay? I'm not a professional, but I just enjoy doing this. And as I do it more and more and more, I learn more about my rhythm and stuff, and I learn more about how to do it that I like and that looks good for my whimsy style. I'm extremely whimsy, okay? Um, so that's what I enjoy the most, and so that's how I'm gonna paint on here, okay? So let's get started. I like to cover my, no matter if it's a white background I want or not, I'm still gonna use paint on it. But today I'm not gonna do a white paint ground, paint ground, <laughs> a white, Background, I am gonna do a very, very pale Key West mixed with my thick body acrylic. Somebody asked what the difference is in the paint. The thick body acrylic is very, very thick. It's what gives your paintings um, that you see a lot, and not everybody uses this kind, but some people do. Um, it's what gives it that textured look where the paint looks really, really thick. That is because they're either using gel medium or they're using thick body acrylic, all right? So that's, you know, and they may be using something else too, because like I said, I'm not a professional, so I don't really know. But I do love the look of using that. So what I'm doing is I'm just pouring some of this Key West over here, boom. I'm pouring some of my white, and I'll just keep adding as I go, and I'll try to remember to tell you, all right? But we're gonna paint our whole thing. We're gonna go, go ahead and use a big paintbrush starting out. And we're just gonna paint the background. And I'm just gonna really get a lot on my paintbrush and we're just gonna go to town. Now, you might notice that it's varying in color. I love that. I don't ever like it to just be one color. I like mixing it like this and I just literally paint it onto the canvas. 
And this is just my base coat, so I'm not trying to get it perfect or anything like that. I want you to see the different colors, but this is barely gonna be seen when it's said and done, okay? I love pineapples. I think they're super fun and funky, and I love to eat them, um, and they make me think of warmer climates, like I said earlier, but they've gotten a negative connotation over the years, and so people shy away from using them in their decorating because of what they can represent in certain circles which I'm not gonna talk about on here. But we're painting one today because we know that we're just doing it as a pretty um, artistic pineapple, which is a fruit, okay? That's what we're doing. So I've got this. Um, <laughs> that's all I'm saying about that. This is my inspiration. I painted this earlier. This is the inspiration that I am going with for this specific uh, painting. Let me just lay this here so that I can remember what it looks like. I'm not going to do it exactly, but I want to kind of remember how to, and I'm going to have to paint my own pineapple shape, which I didn't do there. That was a cut up, cut out. So let's just go with it. Okay. So I'm going to take a little skinnier paintbrush right here and I'm going to paint the outline of my paintbrush. Okay. So, I mean, of my pineapple, I'm saying everything wrong today. This is a hot mess. And I'm just gonna use some white. You're not ever gonna see this. I'm gonna paint over it, all the good things. And I don't want you to see it totally, but I do wanna be able to see my outline at least a little bit. So I kinda know what I'm working with. If you don't feel comfortable free painting, like free handing, then, I mean, you can definitely get a stencil or whatever, okay? All right. Now we're gonna do the top. We're gonna kinda get our, I don't even know what these little top things that go like this are. I'm right-handed, it's just not flipped over. The camera's not flipped over. I don't have my rings on, I don't have anything on. We're just, you know, I don't know. What do you call the little top things on the pineapple? I'm sure somebody's gonna look it up on Google and tell me. Cause we learned that um, the little top things on carrots are called fronds. We didn't know that, or I didn't. And a lot of y'all didn't either, you told me. So I don't know what these top little spiky things are on the pineapple. But we're about to have a fat pineapple. It's gonna be cute and chunky, kind of. I don't know if I'm cute, but I'm a little chunky, but I'm working on it. But look, this is like the outline. You can barely see it, but this is what we're going with here, okay? We are going to do what I did earlier. I got this pale pink that turned out to be a gorgeous pink that I was in love with. So I've got this light portrait pink thick body acrylic from Hobby Lobby. And I am gonna put it on here and then I'm gonna mix it with a ton of white. That's how I'm gonna get my light pink, okay? So this ain't your average pineapple. This is a pink and turquoise and green and really fun pineapple, okay? So right now, <coughs> I am getting my pink paint and it's still got some other color on here. It looks like there's some green. So it's kind of mixing some of that. And I'm just doing light strokes and just kind of filling in my bottom portion here. I love when I paint and y'all are always like, tell me how you do this or what you do. Listen, there's no rhyme or reason to what I do really. You can watch me live right now and kind of see my process, but I just kind of go with it, okay? I literally just go with it. So right now there's all kinds of colors going on down here. It is not a perfect pink. I'm gonna be adding more to make it a really pale pink. But as you can see, I'm gonna try to keep picking it up. It's getting all over me, but it's fine. This is what it looks like right now, okay? We got a fat pineapple. This is not your average pineapple, y'all. Right. In fact, I might want to bring it down. I might skinny it up a little bit. You can literally, now I'm just taking the pink with no white and putting it on there. It's just that we're going to call this the chubby pineapple. It's um, very thick. The paint is thick. And so you can see how thick it is when you're using it. And I mean, I absolutely love using this kind of paint. I'm not even kidding. It has just been a game changer for me because I'm not a professional painter. I'm not all in on the newest paint trends or whatever, and I'm sure it's been around forever. And so 
I kept thinking, how, what are they doing to get their paint so thick? And then of course, like I said, they could be using gel medium or a bunch of different things. But when I found the thick, true thick paint, I was like, bingo, this is what I'm gonna be using because this is very fun to work with. So I've got that, I need to add some more white. Now you can buy them in a lot of different sizes. I always get the white in the biggest size because I use it a ton with my regular acrylics to make other colors. And then my other ones are a little bit smaller, but um, you know, you can use whatever. So now I'm adding a lot of white. My little. And now th these aren't quick paintings typically when I do this. Um, so this might be a longer live than what I typically do. But like I said, I've gotten a lot of questions. Can you do it live? Can you do it live? So here we are. I'm doing very light brush strokes if you can't tell, okay? It's a little more corally than my other one was because I went a whole different route on how I painted that other pineapple that I showed y'all earlier. But in the end, they're gonna be very, no, they're, I don't even know how similar they'll be in the end if you wanna know the truth, but it's gonna be really pretty. And I'm about to pick it up and show you. It's kind of looking like a, pump, a pumpkin. All right. So here we are so far with our fat pineapple. Like I said, this is fat. I hand drew it. I don't know how to hand draw a pineapple any more than some of y'all. I'm just gonna go ahead and add the pink to the crown. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and do the crown pink. We're not keeping it pink, but it's okay if it shines through a little bit because we um, are gonna use a lot of greens, but it's gonna be really pretty to have a tiny bit of pink shining through on the crown. Just kind of filling it in up here. That way you can see what I'm working with. Get a little more white. Oh, that's got green on it. That's okay. Like I said, we're covering it all up. My paintings have layers upon layers upon layers, okay? That is just how they are. Um, so it do, I don't care that this is uh, wonky because it's not gonna look like that in the end by any stretch. This is really pretty at the bottom, y'all. This, I've not made this color before, but somehow it just worked together and turned out awesome. All right, let me wipe that off. That's a really pretty cut. Let me turn it around so you can kind of see what we're working with now. This is what we're working with right now. I don't wash my brushes uh, while I'm painting because I like some of the color to bleed through. But for this one, I am gonna use different brushes, but I'm not gonna, once I have used them, I'm not gonna wash them again, I just wipe them off. Now, I've got this really pretty green. It's called emerald green. It's the thick body. It's just a really pretty green. I'm gonna outline, I'm gonna put just a little bit on my smaller brush, and I'm just gonna outline a little bit of the top. Actually, I'm outlining all the top, not just a little. Isn't that pretty how it like immediately, like this pink and green, like they just really accent well together. And we're gonna use all these different shades of green. And we're not trying to make anything perfect at all. That's why I love whimsy paintings. Um, that's just my style and what I like. But I also like it so much because I don't feel the need to have to be so perfect with it. Okay. So I'm just gonna kind of do that in the center just because to kind of give me some sort of separation. Um, I added a bow in my other one because sometimes this is a hard separation for me, but I'm gonna try to do good, okay? So I'm gonna add a little more. And the fun thing is this is still very wet. So as we're adding this on, see how it's just blending and it's making it not near as dark as the color actually is. So I love that. And see how you can still see the pink. And then the it kind of starts caking on my brush. So I go ahead and take some of it off, wipe it off on my thing over here and add a little more green. And we just kind of keep going with the process where it's a little darker some places, a little lighter others. 
Still see a little pink every now and then shining through. I've never drawn a uh, pineapple, so this is a very first for me. Every pineapple project that I've ever done has been uh, like what I showed you earlier, where it's already like a cutout. So this is a first. I don't know if it's gonna be good or not, but I think it'll turn out okay in the end. Okay, I'm gonna just add just a little more spots of some darker green. But it makes it very easy. I don't wait till my paint is dried, okay? That's another tip. I do not wait till my paint is dry to keep adding layers because it's so, now maybe the highlights, sometimes if you wait till the paint is dry, it could be fine doing it that way. But if you wait till it's dry completely, you can't blend. And that's what this is doing. You know, you can blend so good and we don't want to lose that look because this is a total vibe right here with the blending of the paint. Make sure to sprinkle this video too. I forgot to say that, but make sure to sprinkle the video. So our fat pineapple, I'm very aware how fat it is. It's looking pretty decent. Literally right now, I'm just keep adding layers. Like I just keep adding a little more green. Now about to add another color of green. Um, and in the end, you won't see any of these uh, brush marks or anything like that. That's just part of the process here. So we got this going. And the reason I did it squiggly is just so it wouldn't be quite as stark. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna use some limeade, which is just a plain limeade that is already, um, you know, just regular apple barrel. But I am going to add that on top of this, okay? So I'm gonna take my smaller paintbrush. So I'm gonna add this and then look. Oh yes, yes it is. Look how pretty it looks just adding it on there. Not being, just being almost haphazard with it. Gosh, this is so pretty. Now I'm gonna use a little bit of my thicker uh, paintbrush. Look how these colors are coming together. I am not even joking with y'all. They are coming along so good. Let me add some white. Just gonna get, get a little thick thing of white here. Paint, paint over that. Do a little paint right there. Throw a little paint right there. It's got lots of texture. It's so stinking pretty. How it's got all the texture. I'm just really using a lot to because I think it's just super fun um, to see it all, all the big strokes and stuff. I think it's really fun to see it all come together. And I think it's really fun to give it um, so much extra dimension. This is where we're at so far. And like I said, I might skinny this up a notch because I just feel like it's so dang fat. Okay, so here's how I think I'm gonna skinny it up. And um, this can be a lesson. I just think it's too fat. So what I did is I took the back of one of my paint brushes and I drew a different outline to make it a little bit smaller. Can you see where I did that? You might can't. And it will look worse at first and you'll be like, oh no, you just ruined it, but I didn't. But I'm gonna take it and I am painting it down like this. You're gonna be like, oh no, it's okay. You have to understand, especially live. You don't see this process when I'm only showing you bits and pieces. But this is part of the whole painting process that I do. And it literally, sometimes I have to paint the whole thing over. And that's fine. It doesn't bother me to have to do that. Sometimes it's frustrating. But I'm going to take, I got the thickest part off. Now I'm going to just wipe it down on the side. And then, then on this side. I just think it needs to be skinnier. I just didn't like it. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> that one and we will make it back how we need it to be, okay? 
Um, so we will make this side back how it needs to burn. And this side we will round over just a little bit too. And then I will obviously um, work on these sides where there is um, the pink. Huh? I, no, it's not ready yet, buddy. Okay. See how I wiped it down? See how I wiped that off and that off? Well, that's fine. Because here is what we're about to do. We're going to take some more of this. And we're just going to... We're just gonna start doing it right around the pineapple. Okay. We're just gonna start filling it back in. And we're gonna start um, also filling in all the rest and we're doing it even thicker so that there's even more texture to this, okay? We're just gonna keep adding white, keep adding turquoise, which actually Key West is what it is. And we're just going in kind of close to the pineapple. And we're just filling it back in. Once you have a certain um, style going, and maybe you've drawn your flowers or you've drawn your pineapple, you can go in with more texture and start filling in on the background again, maybe with a brighter color or to blend it in. And then it gives it that breaking point where it has that really textured look. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I never used to do that. And then when I started um, watching painters and, and trying to like understand some of the ways that people are painting that I like, then I realized they go in and they kind of fill out and it's so that it never looks just perfect. And I was like, yes, I love that. And then the colors end up blending and never being the same too. And I really like that. But this is just the process that I do. So I hope it's helpful for so many people who've been asking um, and wanting to see it. I really, really hope that you find this helpful. And all I'm doing is taking thick body acrylic and literally uh, just mixing it with my uh, Key West just a little bit because I wanted it light. And then I'm just filling it in on the background again. And I'm doing it very haphazardly and pretty thick so that you can see um, the texture in it. Okay, now I'm gonna pick this up, try to turn it around. This is so wet right now that it's a little difficult. Okay, this is what we're working with, y'all. Okay, look how fun that's looking so far. Oh my God. You can't even tell it was ever fat because you can paint covers a multitude of sins. Y'all say I don't get paint on me when I paint. And y'all say I always wear nice clothes while I'm painting. Uh, yeah, that ain't right. Well, I guess that kind of looks cool with a little bit of green on the sides. So I could kind of do that. I did not mean to do that. I picked up a paintbrush that had some green on it and that was on accident. But that kind of looked fun bringing in a tiny hint of green not much i don't want it to be like a big old bold green stripe but that was fun so just keep picking different colors and adding to it and kind of going here on the side now this actually has a little bit of yellow in it i'm kind of just adding in a few more colors um barely just a tiny bit of of yellow which is just a whoa that's a little more yellow than i intended and I'm using the side of my paintbrush, if you didn't notice. I'm using the side here. And the yellow that I'm using is uh, real yellow. It is not the color I like, but I have it mixed with a whole, whole, whole bunch of white so that it's very pale. So let me show you this. Mm. Very wet. Okay, so see how you can see some of that in there? How fun is that? Um, super fun. Take a screenshot for those of you who tell me I never get paint on me, cause I do. So what I'm gonna do is take some white and we're just gonna hand draw them. It's Dr. Pepper Zero, yes. And I'm gonna hand draw some polka dots, okay? Now they're just gonna blend. 
right now, okay? Because um, that's just, you know, it's not dry, it's not anything. We're just getting our base look for these, okay? But I think it's gonna make it really fun. And obviously they're gonna be a different color. We're just getting a base and we're just using white for now. And here's the deal. If you mess up on one, because listen, earlier I had to wipe everything. I even had to wipe it on this, all the things. And it's okay if you mess up, because it's paint. You can paint over it. You may have to wait till it dries. You may have to do some blending, but it's okay. So you can see where I've got the outline. Um, but what we're gonna do, and I'm gonna go ahead, um, I'm not ready to dry it yet, but I do want to at least try to dry the bottom portion just a tiny bit so um, that I can really work with the polka dots now. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna dry this bottom part a little bit, okay? I forgot that I have bright aqua green. And this is a thick bodied acrylic, okay? Um, so I'm gonna use some of that mixed with a lot of white and a lot of Key West. And that's what color the polka dots are gonna be. But listen, I'm probably gonna go back with some of my slick tulip paint in the end and do the highlights like I did on my painting that some of y'all saw in the um, kitchen on my coffee bar. Okay, now I'm gonna take that that I just showed you, the bright aqua green thick bodied acrylic, and I am going to take it on my paintbrush and start filling in. I told you that um, you wouldn't that it just would look totally different. That you wouldn't see the polka dot that I did earlier. That it was just gonna change the whole look, but you would be able to see a very portion of the pink and different stuff shining through. And I did not lie to you it will not even look like this here in a few minutes because you just keep adding texture to it. And here's the deal, when you add in white, it's okay if you can see some of your streaks of white. That makes it even more fun and whimsy, okay? Y'all, is this not the prettiest color? Look at all these colors together. And here in a second, I am about to add this color to the top too, okay? This is what it's looking like so far, it's pretty fun. Pretty fun, pretty cute. I'm gonna take what's on my paintbrush that I've just been doing all these polka dots in and add in a little bit of that color to the top to bring them in together. I'm just kind of throwing some just little dashes. Let me show you that because that made a big difference in the top too, okay? See how I did that at the top and it added that in. And I know that I have to have the light because it's so dark but I know that the light doesn't show all the details as, as easily, but I will always, always, <laughs> look at my hands. <laughs> I will always, always, always show a final picture when we're done so that you can see it up close and personal. I'm gonna take this paintbrush and do just a tiny bit of highlight or low light or whatever you wanna call it on the side of my pineapple. Just, I mean, it's just barely able to be seen. You probably can't even tell I did it. I can tell here barely. You probably can't tell from there, okay? Um, so now I'm gonna take some white on the same paintbrush and we're just gonna kind of add just a little bit to our polka dots. We're not necessarily highlighting them, but we're just adding a little texture. In fact, I'm just gonna go with the white and do it even a little more swirls. Just do a little more swirls with the white to lighten it up that much more. But you're still gonna see a ton of the turquoise. But the light on top of it just gives it another piece of dimension here. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all where we're at now after doing that last thing. And that's why I said it takes a while because there's lots of layers to doing, to doing this. So it's so fun. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take, I've got this medium magenta. It's also a thick body. Oh, I actually have that already over there. So I'm gonna, and I still haven't washed any of these brushes, If okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and add just a tiny bit of this and a tiny bit of white. 
and we're gonna go along the sides of the pineapple. Add just a little bit of magenta. And then we're gonna add just a teeny bit of magenta up to the top too. Not a lot, but just a little bit. And we're just barely, barely letting some magenta show up. I'm barely putting my paintbrush on here and I'm just doing little strokes, okay? But this brighter pink, it really, really looks pretty because it just really shows up. Okay, that's all I'm doing on the top part. And I'm even gonna go back over it with just a little bit of white to even soften it that much more. I just wanted it to be very gentle. Let me show you this again. I just wanna show you every process, okay? Can I see? So this is my slick tulip paint, okay? It's like fabric dimensional paint and it's very thin. This could mess it up, but this is why, how I got this look, okay? This is how I got that look. And I did black on that. I'm, I don't think I'm doing black on this unless I barely outline it, but I don't think I am. I'm only gonna do white on this, but that's how I got that look. And I am giving this away to somebody if you sprinkle and tell me you did. But I'm gonna go ahead and use the tulip paint now. I think I'm just gonna call it good with this look right here. I may not be done, I'm, I don't know, but I'm gonna make sure this is at the bottom. This takes a little bit of thought, but you cannot think too much or you will completely mess it up using this. So practice with this, it's not hard to use, but you can be too thoughtful with it and it doesn't have that whimsy look, okay? I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna kinda go like this in my circles, okay? And if I don't like it, I'll blend it and start again. This could be a 10 hour life. <laughs> but here's what we do. We just start. Okay, can you see what I'm doing here? Um, and this top one kinda went crazy. And then now we're gonna just do the outline of this too. And I'm not needing it to be perfect. <laughs> Woo, this makes me stressed out, okay? That part does stress me out a little bit, but it really gives the most fun dimension to the painting. So now I'm gonna take it and do the sides. You don't have to do this part. If you wanted to leave it like it was, you can. This is what it looks like doing that. And look how it just gives it. Okay. Look at that. How fun is that? How it just adds to it. Sometimes this wants to come out in chunks, which can be, that's why you have to literally keep it moving and keep squeezing it the whole time. It's kind of like icing. Like you want to just keep squeezing it. You don't want to just start and stop or it's not gonna look right, okay? Someone asked what the paint is called. It's called Tulip and it's this, it's Slick Tulip. It's dimensional fabric paint. This came from Hobby Lobby, but they have it at Walmart. So I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do and then I'm calling it good, okay? <laughs> um, I'm gonna take this paintbrush, just one of the ones I was using, and I'm going to add some pink to it. I use this light portrait pink that's thick bodied acrylic and then I add some white to it. And I want to have a little more of a pink look added in on my background, okay? Because sometimes it's these final things that make it, okay? So I'm gonna take this and I'm just literally adding to it. It is not blending as good as it used to because it's um, dry. The back is dry already. It's gonna add a lot of flair and I need to add some more white too because I'm out of white. And I'm just literally adding pink. I just felt like it needed more pink. It's just, that's just what I wanted to do. You do it however you want if you're painting yours, obviously. You can stop whenever you want or you can just keep going forever like I do. <laughs> I go forever because I just keep thinking of cool things that I want to add to it. And most of the time, I never regret doing that. I just don't because it usually just adds that much more cool texture to my painting 
that I'm like really pumped about. I'm going over it again with turquoise. We're not leaving it so pink. I know you're like, what is this ever done? The, most of the best paintings, not saying mine's the best, I'm just saying, <laughs> um, a lot of the paintings that I've seen that I've loved the most or that I've done that I've loved the most have layers upon layers, okay? Um, and that's what makes them so unique and fun. Wow, that is so stinking fun. I'm gonna add a little bit of turquoise on top of this now, but I want you to see what it looks like now with all the pink added. Okay. So now I'm gonna add a little bit more turquoise. Then I think we should be we should be done. I'm gonna add more white up here because it got pinker than I intended. Okay, so now I'm gonna take just a little bit of my a thick body bright aqua green and then I am just adding a little bit of that on top of this mm, this is so fun I could do this all day and never get tired of it And so sometimes that's what I do and that's why I'm not always live when I'm painting because it is therapeutic to me. And, um, you know, sometimes I don't end up liking my painting. Um, and I'm sure y'all can understand that. Sometimes I'm like, mm, that was bad. I'm glad nobody saw it. All right, the only thing I wanna do now is just a tiny bit of that bright magenta on the sides a little bit. Just the same thing I did earlier. Just want to bring that out a little bit more in the pineapple down here. I love adding little accents of the pink. Is that because it just is so pastel that the pink really just boom, like sets it off. So it's it's just super fun to add those. And it's okay to add them outside of the realm of the uh, crown too. It's um, crown. Y'all found that out? Yeah, it's a crown. Okay, I'm done. I don't wanna mess with it anymore. I really like it. It looks really cute. So here it is. Hope y'all enjoyed this. I will show y'all pictures. Um, and if I end up adding more to it, you'll see it. But um, thanks for watching. I love. I think what I love the most is the crown. Look at the crown, y'all. It's got so many fun colors. And this thick body acrylic is so dang fun to use. So dang fun. So, hope y'all enjoyed. I will show you a picture. It's the first pineapple I've ever painted from scratch, so I did not know what I was doing. Um, I'm gonna have to clean up myself somehow. <laughs> I made a huge mess. Um, but thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day, and if you are experiencing ice and sleep, be careful and just stay in and craft with me. Watch my videos. Let's craft together. Look at my blog. It'll be super fun. Bye, guys.